Hey, what's going on YouTube? I hope everybody's having a great day so far, and today is our second of two videos with the Big Bat Box. As I mentioned yesterday, I had purchased two of these, um, actually by accident. But with that said, I'm going to kind of skip past the intro a little bit and go right into it. Chances are, if you saw yesterday's video, you're watching this one. And let's see what we get. We didn't pull anything huge out of yesterday's video, but I'm hoping we do today. There's also a chance for a little bit different pack variety out of this one versus yesterday's, but we will see. So as always, here are our top loaders and penny sleeves. We've got a 2017 Diamond King, same as yesterday, 2020 Update Hobby. 2020 gallery we have the same turkey red hobby as yesterday this is well i thought it was the same because i saw a rod on it but it is not this is actually the 2007 edition instead of 2006 and it even says 2007 on the bottom <clears throat> we've got 2019 heritage 2020 Minor League. Our retro pack is 1988 score. And there is a hit in there hiding. I will save that one for last. So, as yesterday, I'm going to go ahead and open 2020 Minor League first. Those of you that have purchased this product and gotten yours already, what have you received? Anything good? Please post down below. Our first card is going to be a Victor Mesa Jr. With the fish, Forrest Whitley. We've got a Riley Green. This might be an auto. This is Matthew Allen from the Cyclones. He is a pitcher. I don't know what farm system the Cyclones is. This one is numbered 3 out of 50. And he is a Met. He is in the Mets system. So there's our first auto out of the, out of the box. I don't know if this is an auto. All of these, it is not. It is just a parallel numbered out of 50. This is not an auto. All of the cards have signatures on the bottom. And Bryson Scott, Stott, is our last card. So we got a cool parallel numbered out of 50 out of that one. I'm going to go ahead and open 2019 Heritage next. Lots of Nolan Arenado today and yesterday. We've got a Malik Smith. He used to be on the Braves. Kid is lightning fast. Kevin Pillar. Got a 2018 American Batting League leaders. Mookie Betts, Altuve, and J.D. Martinez. And we've got a Justin Turner. This is a Jose Ramirez New Age Performers card. I don't believe it's numbered. It's just an insert. ERA Leaders from 2018. Iglesias with the Reds. And a Nolan Arenado The Sporting News card. Next, let's go ahead and open Gallery and Update. Gallery first. Here is a Wilson Contreras. Followed by TJ Zooch. Every other card is flipped upside down. Jack Flaherty. We have a Modern Artists of Pete Alonzo. This one is not numbered. 
and a rookie card of Agrizal with Detroit. This is 2020 Update Hobby. We've got a 1 in 24 chance of scoring a relic or an autograph out of this pack. I don't see a relic, but there could be an auto. Clayton Kershaw, Rich Hill, Eric Davis, Joe Kelly, Javi Baez. Big rookies in this one are going to be Arzarania and Trent Grisham. The rest of the rookie cards in here are rookie debuts. We have a Hunter Pence refractor. And that is a shower time card with Cleveland Indians, JV, and Kershaw, and Posey. That's it for that one. Next, we've in the box, we've got 2017 Diamond Kings. There are five cards per pack in this one. I actually like these a lot. They have a really good feel to them, and they look really nice. There's another Don Russ Panini set out of 2020. I don't remember specifically what it's called, but you get a handful of what seems like random insert cards. I don't really like that one very much, but Diamond Kings looks very, very nice. This is an Alex Bregman rookie card parallel with a frame around it. It is not numbered. We've got a Mike Trout Aurora card. This one is also not numbered. Very cool card there. And our last card is Hack Wilson with the Cubs. Next, before the retro pack, I'm going to open 2007 Turkey Red. We have a Tim Lincecum rookie card. Not sure what kind of value he pulls. Unfortunately, he kind of fell off the map, which he could have had an all-star, or not all-star, a Hall of Fame career for sure. But I think he might have started to have some back issues with that crazy delivery of his. There's Troy Gloss, David Eckstein, a Millard Fillmore. Got a landscape card of David De Jesus. And a landscape card of Jim, Tom Jim Tomey when he was with Chicago. Our last pack in the box is going to be 1988 score. Got a mini hologram of Yankee Stadium that dropped out of the pack. First card is going to be Julio Franco. Speaking of crazy stances and deliveries, he had a very unusual batting stance. There's Joe Carter. We've got a Gus Polidor. Bob Dernier. We've got a Manny Lee. Bruce Ruffin, Les Lancaster, got a Jack Clark and Don Mattingly Game Breakers card, Donnie Moore, Hubie Brooks, Scott Bankhead, David Lipper, Dave Stewart, Dave Collins, Kevin Mitchell, and Bobby Witt, most likely senior, I believe. Though he might not have known he was going to be a senior in 1988. Um, our hit is going to be a Johnny Venters sticker autograph through Tops. This is Tops 2010 when Venters was close to breaking into the league. I don't remember his rookie year. But he took some time off, he had some injuries, and he came back to Atlanta a couple years ago firing 
Gas, once again, pitching very, very well for us. That is the box hit. In the diamond big bat box, you do get a Hall of Famer hit as opposed to a random team hit. With that said, I'm going to end the video here as we are out of cards. <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. Please go support the Big Bat Box as well. Here is their website information one last time and their socials. So if you like the product, please go pick it up for yourself. And I will see you guys next time. Tomorrow is going to be Christmas Eve, so if I don't upload then, have a very, very merry Christmas Eve and a merry Christmas as well. Happy holidays to those of you that don't support Christmas. And have a great one. Take care, guys. Bye.